today I'm doing the fridge freezer and pantry challenge by Tasty Mukbang Eat. And I am going to make some spaghetti from the things that I found in my deep freezer and cabinet. Here I have some ground beef and some ground pork mixed together. I put some onions and some seasonings in it. I've already pre-cooked my noodles and I'm about to get ready to try to whip up some kind of sauce because she said you can't go to the store and get any. So I have these canned sauces and I'm going to add some seasoning to them like I got garlic. Um, I'm going to add, um, y'all hold on, I'm all over the place today. I got to eat this situated. Black pepper, Woo. onion powder garlic salt, some Italian seasoning, and I'm going to add some adobo seasoning and some brown sugar Yeah, I'm going to um, to help. And then I have some some kind of bread sticks I found in the deep freezer. I don't know what it's going to turn out like everybody but that's what I'm about to try to make a meal with the fridge freezer and pantry chatter to make some spaghetti. Alrighty, y'all. Okay, everyone. My um, challenge is completed. I made the spaghetti sauce with meat. I have made some bread sticks from some I found in my deep freezer. They ain't the prettiest thing, but I made them. And I made my spaghetti noodles. And I'll, let's eat. Okay, everyone. I've completed um, making my meal for the fridge, freezer, and pantry challenge. Um, I could have added some sweet peas, salad, or something. I'm gonna make that a little later on because it's just lunch right now, but it's gonna be dinner for the kids because it's lunch for me. But I'm glad that she challenged to do that because those um, cans of tomato sauce had been in there a long time. So I was able to make, well, not too long, but I mean, they just been in the cabinet and I never paid any attention to them to make spaghetti with them. So here it is. And um, let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. This bread, it was broken in the bag. I think it happened because it was deep down in the deep freezer. But let's see how it tastes with um this spaghetti, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It's not hard, it's soft. See? Y'all see that bread? So this is a fridge freezer and pantry challenge by Taste the Mukbang Eat. I encourage others to do this challenge as well. Um, I know G Mama World did it, and uh, some more people did it, but I decided to do it. Because I haven't spent a lot of money on book balls because I thought that what people wanted to see because everybody go out to eat, blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to spend that kind of money. I was doing food, a lot of restaurant reviews, which I had no problem with it, but from what I can see, it didn't matter. It, a lot of people, you know, I guess it's according to where you live at. People can um, relate to Red Lobster, Burger King, McDonald's, um, Ruby Tuesdays, um, Cheddar's, um, you know, stuff like that. But um, I like to go into places I've never been and do reviews. And if it's just only my area, they don't have no other areas, people are like, oh, I ain't never heard of it. Mm. But I see people like those. Crab legs and stuff more than anything. They say it was trending, but I tried, y'all. I can eat shrimps. I can eat catfish and stuff. But 
but my palate just ain't good with crab legs. I didn't try it. I mean, it's good with be love sauce. I guess because I like be love sauce. It's good too. I grew up on homemade, homemade meals more than anything. The eating out a lot started when I became a teenager and I got my own job. I made my own money. I could go and eat out when I wanted or go to the store because we actually lived right next door to a grocery store when I was a teenager for a while. That was in our neighborhood. So it was a two minute walk to the grocery store. When I would go in there and buy, y'all know them little frozen pieces that they had for a dollar back then? That, potato chips, hot dog, nachos, stuff the kids eat. If you want to eat what your mama made, oh, it's still good. The seasoning is good. I didn't put any cheese on it because I didn't realize I was out of cheese. And for the challenge, Tasty said you cannot go to the store um, and buy anything. You got to do it straight off what you have right then and there. So that's why I use that canned stuck tomato sauce. You know, it says spaghetti sauce, but it ain't got no chunks in it. You got to, um, I thought I had some stewed tomatoes, but I didn't. And she said you can't go get this. So I had to. Whip this up real good. Mm. So I did, y'all. I whipped it up real good. It's a lot. Um, I put ground sausage in here with the um, ground beef. Mmm. Y'all, this so good. I don't even want to talk when I'm eating it. It's hard to eat and talk. Mmm. Because you get the top one, you don't eat all your food. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that seasoning on them? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Take a bite. Take a bite. But it's good for mothers like me to make meals at home, which I've done that a lot because my oldest son is 21. My other son will be 20 this year in November. And then my son, Ricky, he will be 18 on May the 15th. My daughter, Aaliyah, is 16 to May 15th. So y'all know I have cooked a lot at home over the years and I've learned some great recipes and I still want to learn some more because I'm from the South, so I know a lot of Southern cooking. My mama from Harris County, Georgia, and my father's from Tarbert County, Millweather County area. So, you know, you got a lot. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry the camera cut off. Um, I'm on my iPad and somebody called, which was my sister. And she called me on Facebook, and it automatically cut off. So I'm sorry that that interrupted my video. But I thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. And watching my video. And no, I ain't finished. Yeah. Because guess what? I want y'all to hit that red button 
that's down below that says subscribe. Leave me lots of comments. And I challenge you to do the fridge, freezer, and pantry challenge by Tasty Mukbang Eats. She has a lot of challenges on her channel. Please go check Miss Tasty Mukbang Eats out and do some of her challenges. Also on my channel, I have the wheatgrass shot challenge. And I challenge you guys to do the wheatgrass shot challenge. And thank you guys for tuning in to Mama TK Reviews. And you're more than welcome to keep coming back and coming back and coming back and coming back for some more great videos. All right, y'all. Have a blessed day. Peace.